So one of the things which can uh, hamper rapid healing of sort of tendons and, and ligaments is actually the blood flow to the areas um, in uh, those areas in the body can be much less than say to, to say to muscles and other and other areas, and that's why a lot of the therapies will will use sort of friction and and uh, therapies to increase sort of um, blood flow into the areas. But what we know about certain nutrients is certain foods can increase can increase blood flow, and th those foods tend to be the salicylate based foods, which are um, many of the herbs and spices that fall into the anti-inflammatory uh, bracket anyway. Um, but then there's one or two particular herbs which can help. Um, obviously, increasing blood flow is not something, or, or uh, increasing uh, blood thinness uh, is not something you'd want to do before engaging in a contact-based sport, because if, you, if there's a chance you could cut yourself, um, then, then uh, you obviously want the blood to be able to congeal and, and um, stop the bleeding process as quickly as possible. So, so any of these herbs need to be really considered carefully before you know combat-based sports, MMA, um, rugby would be an obvious one where you, you know you can get cut quite badly in those types of sport. Uh, and they would include things like ginkgo biloba, which is. Uh, is a great nutrient for increasing blood flow to the brain, for example, and may also increase blood flow flow to the peripheries and have an, uh, a positive impact on tendon healing. Uh, there's a there's an uh, an extract from periwinkle uh, called vimpocetine, which is again is very good for blood flow um, uh, to brain. Can be used as a nootropic. That one so increases like energy intent before training. Uh, um, and may again, if if used in in a lower amount over a progressive period, just increase the delivery of nutrients and and help that healing process around tendons and, and, and ligaments. Uh, vitamin D's a natural a natural blood thinner uh, doesn't have you don't have to, to worry about the same implications as you would do with ginkgo or, or, or vimpocetine. There's um, any kind of extract from grapeseed uh, or um, pine bark will have very good um, ability to increase blood flow to joints, um, ligaments and tendons. And really, and <clears throat> there won't be, met, there won't be uh, many areas of the body which won't benefit in terms of healing from an increased uh, uh, level of blood reaching the area, uh, delivering nutrients, removing waste products out, out of the area, you know, so whether it be bone, soft tissue, uh, and so on. And finally, nit nitrates, you know, d derived from beetroot, will have that effect, you know, and and all of those things can be used um, as a performance enhancing uh, strategy before say before most sporting events. Um, but again, with the caveat around any very very uh, aggressive or contact based sports, you need to be careful about which ones of those you choose to use in higher in higher amounts.